What's up guys, Cody from Southeast Offwash. Uh, gonna show you a video here today. So we've got a brand new pump off of the pallet. We buy these by the pallet load. Uh, Remco is what we like to use. They're a really solid pump, but any pump can have an issue from time to time. This one, uh, we already know what the problem is, but we're gonna show you guys what's going on and make a quick maintenance video or like a troubleshooting video out of it. So pressure switch on this pump is bad. If you come in here closely and look, it's never been messed with again it is brand new but we've got they put a little bit of an epoxy over the the little two millimeter screw so we know it's never been adjusted it's a it's straight from the factory nobody's ever messed with it at all and if we plug this pump up it's not going to run uh, the guy set this one to the side as they were doing a trailer build over there for us to look at and we'll wind up we'll get with remco and let them know you know hey it's not a big deal but it is a bad pressure switch how do we know that for sure well here we've got a pump plugged up Let's test this one, cut the switch on. You hear the pump running. I don't know if you guys can hear that in camera, but when we cut that on, we do get power to the pump. So, and obviously we could cut it on and spray and do whatever we needed to do with it. So we know for a fact that we've got a good pump here and a voltage here. We could check that five or six different ways. We could put a voltmeter on it, but we just confirmed that this is a live port, so let's plug this pump into the same spot. If you look real closely, you can see all that gooey stuff. We like to load these up with dielectric grease just because they, they are outdoors in the elements. That'll keep corrosion from building up. So it's plugged in. Let's flip the switch. We're getting nothing, all right? So this pump should have came to life and tried to run right then, but we're not getting anything. Let me show you how we can confirm what the suspicion is. There's not much to check here. About the only couple things that can go wrong with these pumps is they leak. Sometimes you could get, and it doesn't matter the brand, uh, check these screws here. These are Torx. They use some really nice stainless Torx screws. Make sure these are tight all the way around uh, and sealing up this gap here to here. Make sure that that's, that's good to go if you get a leak. Uh, really the only other thing that can happen is the pump can just wear out and quit working, or if it's not doing anything at all, like this one, it's probably gonna be that pressure switch. I have in the past had a pump that will say working for a month or two, started acting weird, and take a screwdriver or a pocket knife and tap on that pressure switch and sometimes you can get it to jog and that's also letting you know that it's the pressure switch is starting to fail. So how can we confirm that it is the pressure switch? There's a few ways since they have uh, sort of a quick plug attachment here, what we can basically do is bypass this pressure switch. We'll unplug this. This little piece is made by Honeywell. I'm pretty sure this is a Honeywell micro switch. So we just unplugged that, got it out of the way. And what we're gonna do is take our little jumper wire and basically hot wire the pump. We're gonna bypass it. And it's sort of hard to do because I've gotta be doing about three things here at the same time. Let me call in reinforcements. Jacob, come and assist. Gotta hold my mouth just right. So we're just gonna cram that end of the wire in there. Same thing over here. Basically short circuit this pump and we may have to, I'll tell you what, hold the pump for me. Not really a two man job, but we're gonna make it a two man job because we're trying to film. So when we make this circuit here and this gauge wire is way too big, so it's not cooperating with me real good, but we should get some live action. Let's see if we do. You know what? It helps if the switch is on. Try to get that to hold just there. See that? And we are running the pump, if I can get it in there good enough. Uh, but you guys can see that the pump does come on and try to run there. So the pump is fine, okay? Um, Big old fat wire don't help. But if we plug everything back up, the pump does not come on. So just doing that simple test here tells us the pump is actually fine. It's just this pressure switch. Now this is a replacement part. You guys could change that out. Um, being that this is a brand new pump, we will just replace this pressure switch. You can get these parts. Or if it's under warranty, give them a call. They'll take care of you. It's a good company. They make a good product. But as with any product, you can't have issues. That is a simple, quick and easy way to bypass the pressure switch. You can do it with a gym clip, right? It doesn't matter. You're just short circuiting here to here pretty much. And uh, the pump comes on. That tells us this is bad. We'll see you guys in the next video.